It is such a magnificent day. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you guys a self-care routine on a Sunday with me. So we're going to go to the gym, gonna refresh our brains, and when we get back, we're gonna go do all that amazing things for us. Yeah, super excited to share that with you and I am feeling so blessed. So for this feel good glute routine, I prioritized that day for my gluteus medius. So the lifts that I will be doing here will include mostly abduction movement, but starting off with sumo deadlifts. These aren't necessarily abduction movements, but they will help you target the overall rounded glutes. And especially if you want to target the glute mat, using the sumo stance over the conventional one can be a good way to target it. On the menu today, today's special is the gluteus medius. So I am doing hip thrust with abductions, which are the fundamental ones, as well as the curtsy lunges. If you don't want to feel a lot on the quads, but feel more on the glutes, my tip for you would be to lunge a little bit further more and also lean a little bit forward so you feel it on the glutes. After that, I did clamshell standing hip abductions and presses on the pull butt machine. I don't know what to call this, but it's a great invention for the gluteus medius. And the weather, it just takes my breath away. It's gym and here I am making dinner and lunch for the whole week. I made mushrooms, sweet potato with beans. Just add a bunch of those cans and mixed with some onions, fried onions. And it smells so good, tastes so good. And I'm also having fish, just steamed, nothing special. And I'm gonna have that with dry chilies with lots of veggies of course. So after eating dinner, we are going to get started with our self-care routine. So here we are going to take a bath. Okay, not us, but I mean, we as in you on your own and me right here. So I'm going to enjoy this bath bomb and you could also drink a smoothie, read a book, even drink a coconut juice and pretend as if you are on a beach. I'm just going to soak it all up. Take my time, I usually never take baths. I only do showers because I don't want to waste time. But sometimes self-care, it might slow you down a bit, but it will get you ahead for the long run. You'll be so much more productive after this. Take a step back, relax, and chill, like taking a bath. taken a bath ever in a very long time so doing this it makes me really want to even sleep in the bath it's so good and also another self-care routine that I'm gonna implement is putting a mask on and that is a natural mask just with natural cucumbers it literally is so cool like it will clear up your skin and you can call it detox or whatever detox for your body like for your stomach to get slim won't walk, but I do believe in those detox for your skin with fruits. Anti-aging, antioxidants. I don't think it could absorb, but absorb into the subcutaneous tissue, but I do think it can clear up. Like, I don't know the science about cosmetics, but it is so good. Also, you can also eat cucumber. <laughs> Okay. You could just lie down. <laughs> so good. Hey 
Hey guys, so this is like the Sunday, two weeks after that. I filmed it like just to try to get more content while I also like really do a self-care routine. And sometimes like it's hard for me to do self-care routine because especially on this, you know, PhD busy life and you may be busy too, like so many things. You have work, school, business, anything you can talk about, like we don't have time for self-care. And that is what I used to think too, that I don't have time for self-care. But self-care doesn't have to be like an hour long or a day long. You can just do self-care for like five minutes every day. Like for example, meditation is one thing that I'm trying to implement on a consistent basis. I'm trying to do that every day after lunch break. I'm trying to do that. And yeah, just find a consistent routine and implement some time of the day to take a step back, breathe, relax because sometimes stress gets to us and stress does nothing good for our bodies harder for muscle building to take place and it's so easy for fat synthesis like which means like fat building not muscle building to take place and it's so easy for us to like stress eat you know so many negative impacts down the road and it has no good for you you know we are living in a society where like we don't have to worry about food on the table we don't have to worry about like diseases so unless we're talking about like corona of course but like think about how blessed we are previous generations did not get to experience that but even though it's happening like we're living in this amazing abundant society there are so many people having depressions and anxiety and that all comes down to like overworking and not taking care of themselves so i really want you to think about incorporating self-care routine in onto your everyday basis because that in the short term may not seem like a fruitful idea but for the long run and you know even when you meditate you just spread out your chest and breathe in like it feels so good to do that like who doesn't want self-care so that's why i want you guys to implement that and another great self-care routine that i'm trying to do is journaling because some days like i have bad days i have good days just like every other human being putting a journal and writing that helps you more assimilate your thoughts into a piece of paper and you can reflect and see and that's how you can improve that's how you are more in tune with yourself and when you're in tune with yourself you will find peace in it and that is all the essence about meditation and all those therapeutic self-care routines are and another self-care routine that I'm trying to develop is yoga and I've been doing that on my rest days before I always thought that I'm not a yoga person because I like working out like lifting heavy weights and you know finishing it up and getting the endorphins and getting stronger and all that but you know while I was had an injury I have to stretch and that's when I get into yoga and I discovered that yoga is not just about improving the body it's also about improving the mind you get the space to breathe you get the space for your body and your mind to connect and it's a wonderful place to be in you could even go out in nature that is another self-care routine that i'm trying to pull up to so instead of scrolling through your phone like social media on your work break like maybe take a walk outside maybe do some meditation practice some yoga like all of those things those are rarely talked about in like today's societies when we all of us are so busy and we're just bombarded with work but if we want to get ahead even more then first thing there is only one person who will take care of yourself and that is only you you're the only one who's going to take care of you so that is why i really want to instill this ideas in your guys brain so yeah uh, i hope this inspires you thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video